<laughs> uh, you can't. Karate is difficult. What are you going to do? Uh, what I would say though is that is that firstly, <laughs> like don't do what don't do what these idiots behind me are doing. Yeah. Uh, firstly, um, the, the the original kata was just this kind of namiyash gakuzuki block namiyash gakuzuki. So if you can't with any kind of uh, level of uh, of kind of uh, proficiency do uh, the kicks, then just do the original kata. It's not a problem. Just namiyash. It was only it was only a sai sensei that uh, added the yokogeri kikomis um, in I think the 1960, 56, 1965 uh, uh, all Kanto, uh, all Tokyo area uh, kata finals. Uh, and I asked him once, why did he do it? And he said, well, you know, I was young and I was really good at Yogi Kikomi and it looked really cool. And that was his rationale because it looked really cool that he changed the kata completely, right? It is what it is. So, so if, if, if you're not young and your Yogi don't look really cool, then maybe don't do it. Just do the original. That's one point. Second point I would say, though, is that a lot of people, they, they, they prepare making it more difficult. Like don't bring your like if you watch my foot, don't bring your foot back to this position just to send it out. You want your knee behind your foot. So this position, this position is fine where you're you're just kind of holding you're, you're getting that compression of your abdomen obliques where it raises that point. And then from that point you can kind of thrust it out. So get that foot position. Drive from that leg, kick and then back down. Like whether you're kicking jaw on shoot on get on it doesn't make any difference. But like just kick, kick, kick that way. Third point, third point, don't feel like you've got to hold it. Yokogeri Kikomi, like we generally, when we practice it, we hold Yokogeri Kikomi, so thrust it out. But, but just like we would thrust out, kind of punch. But if there was a technique afterwards, say if you were doing a combination of, I don't know, like say, okay, say for example in Gion, where you're going one, two, three, four, you wouldn't artificially hold this hand out for no reason. As soon as this finishes, this one's gone. As soon as this one's gone, this one's gone. So you're not holding that punch out. So why do you want to hold Kikomi out when you have a different technique afterwards? So don't kick high. Don't hold it out. Prepare correctly. And if you can't do, if you still can't do it, then do Namiyash. Uh, uh, Russ has uh, showed us this Tuesday, but I'm uh, struggling with the last hand techniques. Last hand techniques? This part? Yeah. Okay, so, okay, first of all, if you get, I'll show you from, I'll show you like this, yeah? If you, get your, if you get your right hand only. So your right hand only comes down to your left hip, and it comes right the way around past your face, down, and then forward. Well, your body goes forward, but. So it comes, it comes 45 degrees back to your hip, round, down and in with your body. Okay, so that's your that's your right hand. Left hand is easy. Left hand just comes round and strike. Round and strike. Left hand is round and strike. Okay, the, the only difficult part is that is that your right hand starts first. A lot of people kind of do both hands at the same time, then it kind of gets awkward. No, right hand first, whilst your left one hasn't moved. Right hand first, and then as it starts to come up, it gets to kind of 12 o'clock and then both hands come into play. So your right hand comes all the way down, rotates around to kind of 12 o'clock, and then from here both hands come into play.